person that know how to play both sides of the ball, offense and defense. The minute you miss that shot, you automatically turn from an offensive player to a defensive player. Because you need a rebound. Look at somebody tell them you need a rebound. You need a rebound. The Bible says in Micah 7 and 8, Do not rejoice over me, my enemy, when I fall. I will arise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord what will be a light to me. Listen, this ain't the time to quit. This ain't the time to sit in the bleachers. This ain't the time to throw in the towel. Now is the time to get the rebound. Y'all listen, God shared that with me over some things that I had up before him. Y'all, how many of y'all missed a couple shots in your life? You, 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 you missed. Man, God, I forgot you had said that. And, and, and it was a part of the game plan. But you missed the shot. God said, this ain't the time to sit back and dwell on what you missed. God said, the game's still going on. He needs to encourage somebody today. The game's still going on for you. You need to go and get the rebound. The game is still going on for you. You need to get the rebound. Somebody say that with me. The game is still going on for me. I need to get the rebound. Say that again. The game is still going on for me. I need to get the rebound. Say it again. The game is still going on for me. I need to get the rebound. It ain't over because you missed a couple shots. And it certainly ain't over because you're down by six. As Golden State will let you know. Oh, you think it's over? Maybe next week I'll preach on the three-point shooters. But we ain't there right now. Right now we're talking about rebound. Watch this. It is possible to miss more shots than you make and still win the game. That's right. That's right. Now, let me say that again. Chris will say that's right. It's possible to miss more than you make but still win the game. In the NBA, the average for first-time shot attempts is around 43%. In fact, the majority of time, whether you win or lose, the majority of time, both teams shoot under 50%. It's just one team shoots better than the other. One team shoots 48%, one team shoots 43%. Sometimes you have nights where you hit. How many of y'all have the times where you hit? You're on, you, you shoot 60%, you, you hot, you shoot, you shoot 75 Listen, how many of y'all ever been hot in life? Not, not hot, but you have, you have had some good streaks going. Man, I got the job. Ooh, I got my relationship together. We just went on vacation. Money's still in the bank. Oh, we kicking it. Let's do it. Y'all, you hot. You winning. But I'm here to tell you, when money ain't in the bank, you ain't doing good. You arguing with your spouse. Can't nobody take a vacation. You still have the ability to win the game if you know how to rebound. Everything ain't going to go right for you all the time. That's right. Watch this. When shooters miss shots and people know they can shoot, you think they stop shooting? Guess what they do? Their teammates beat them the ball more. No, keep shooting. Come on, get hot. I'm missing. Keep shooting. Because they always get hot right when you need them the most. And guess what the team is doing? They rebound. We giving you a So Listen, the church has to learn how to help one another rebound so that when you miss, when you fall in sin, when you fall short, when you mess up, we there right there to give you another opportunity. Come on, get up. Get on back in the game. It ain't over for you. Man, I missed six shots. I, I failed. I slept with ten women. It ain't over for you. Let's rebound and put you back in the game. Amen? Amen. Watch this. I want you all to stop dwelling on the fact that you didn't get it right the first time and start focusing on creating second chance opportunities. The first time you talk to that person, it went wrong. Y'all leave it there. Uh-uh. Create the second chance opportunity. Hey, bro, look. Last time I came at you, it was wrong. I'm trying to rebound this thing. I'm trying to get it back on track. God said create the second chance opportunities. Stop focusing on the fact that you... Listen, y'all. I wanted to do a little investment thing real quick. And I took some money out. And I'm going to tell myself again. I took some money out, gave it to some people. Ha, ha, ha. It didn't work. Cool. Five hundred dollars. The lady tells me, you better come up five hundred dollars on the ticket in the corner. <laughs> I'm in the room, whatever. Wife come in and tell me, who taking you to the court? She'd have been in the phone. <laughs> and I tried to do it on the side. This is how men do. I don't tell her. But when I make the money, then I'm going to say, baby, look what we did. <laughs> so I was like, uh-huh, I'm the man. Pop. But guess what, y'all? I missed the shot. 
White came in there with the rebound. What's going on? <laughs> right. That's right. Who you all found dollars to? I asked the Jeep, what's up? Well, babe, what had happened was I called LA and y'all and then and I gave the money and it didn't work out. Y'all guess what? She had to get the rebound for me. I missed. In that business bench, I missed. My wife said, I'm telling on you, baby. My wife said, baby, we're gonna sell hair. It's gonna be tailor-made hair. Hairstyles, whatever. Taylor made weave, you know, when they sell the bundles. We're going to do it, babe. And when she said it, I said, all right. <laughs> First sale, girl need bundles, da 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 It's 10 o'clock at night. Wife say, babe, can you go and drop these bundles on? <laughs> can I go? <laughs> Where? 83rd and... 83rd? <laughs> 10 at night. Come on, y'all. I'm the week to the look. Once I got to the south suburbs, I stay in the south suburbs. I get there. You know, we, we're in front of a bodega. I didn't even know they had bodegas in Chicago. We're in front of a bodega. We out there. They out there. They on the corner. They serving. They looking around. I'm looking for this girl. She's standing. I'm looking like this her. Babe, what she got on? Oh, yeah, that's her. It's like a drug deal. She come out in the car. You got this stuff? <laughs> it's like a dope deal in the car. She looking at it. You ain't got no brown black. I got the light on. I take this. I thought y'all had ordered this already. I come to drop off. Babe, you ain't got brown black. Chris like, no, she had said. I'm like, see, this is what I don't want to do. Yo, we missed on that. That ain't work. We missed them shots. But we started muscle game. Guess what? And we win. You're going to miss. Rebound yourself and keep on playing in the game. Watch this. The Bible says in Proverbs 24 and 16, for a righteous man may fall. How many times? Seven. God. And rise again. Not the sinner. The <coughs> righteous man. The righteous man may fall seven times and rise again. You know why pastors can overcome controversy? You know why they can, uh, and I ain't going to call no names out, but we've seen some things in the news alone these last few years about pastors and controversy. You know why they can come back? Because they have a team that's going to help them rebound. Yeah. It ain't time to throw out the uh-huh, I told you so when somebody mess up. That's immaturity. Right. My God, if I mess up, because I'm only human now, I'm overtaken in a fault or a scandal, after you say, man, this happened, that happened, I need somebody to help me rebound. Get me back on track. Put me back in the game. You can't be around people that's rejoicing and laughing in your calamity right. or rejoicing and laughing at others when they miss the mark. Y'all, I've I, I learned not to have the uh-huh, I told you so's mm. just when people in ministry done me wrong and now it's their time to get what God given them. Mm. Uh-uh. God said, I need you to restore them. Mm. Rebound for them because y'all playing on the same team. That's right. Listen, sometimes players on your team do some stuff that one part of the play. Right. It's called turnovers. They get a ball to the opposite team. Wait a minute. Every time you operate in the fish, you turn the ball over to the devil. You got to do what? Take a timeout. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all need to know how to call a spiritual timeout. Wait a minute. Hold up. Mm -hmm. Hold up. What's going on? You offended. You, you turn that ball over to the devil. What's going on? Call a timeout and get your team together in your house, in your relationships, in your family, in your Amen. money. We can't afford no turnovers. Amen. You have to learn how to rebound. Mm. This last part I want to leave you with is in order to be a good rebounder, you can come, Brother PJ. The last time I want to leave you with is in order to be a good rebounder, a good rebounder have to keep their knees bent and their hands in the air if you want to rebound, right? You have to be in a position to rebound. Now watch this. A good rebounder has to keep their knees bent and their hands in the air. This is in the manual. I I'm not making it up. In order to be a good rebounder, you got to keep your knees bent and your hands in the air. I'm going to just go. I'm going to let that marinate on. In order to be a good rebounder, you got to keep your knees bent and your hands in the air. Oh, in order to be a good rebound, you got to keep your knees bent. Yeah. And you got to keep your hands in the air. In order to be a good rebound, you got to keep them knees bent and 
prayer and go into God and say, Father God, I need you. You need to be humble. In order to be a good rebounder, you have to keep your knees bent. Get on your knees and pray and pray and pray and keep on praying because prayer changes things. This will give you the leverage for the rebound. Keep your hands in the air. You have to stay in the position of worship. You want to rebound? Keep them knees bent every day. Father God, I, I, I'll go before you. Listen. Physically, don't. I want to challenge you. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Don't sit on the edge of your bed no more. Come on. Bend the knees. Force your flesh to do it. I'm Amen. keeping my knees bent. There's no pride in me. There's no what I want to do in me. I'm going to bow down on my knees before yes. you, Father God. Yes. I'm going to keep my knees bent. Yes. I'm going to keep my hands in the air. Yes. When you keep your hands in the air, you're in a position 